Well, what is up, everybody? Matty here with you. We are back with some more LSPDFR action. Uh, we've got a report of strange people here in Sandy Shore. So let's uh, see what this is all about. I see, uh, oh, goodness. We've had something like this before. <laughs> we got some uh, aliens, apparently, that are going to show up here on scene. Um, they're just going to take off and kind of run towards us. We're not going to let that happen as they now get all sucked up into the air. Okay. Well, that's a way to start out Sandy Shore's episode, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I can't say I'm surprised, so we'll just go ahead and reduce. I did get a special request for a car. This is for, I hope I say it correctly, and if I do butcher it, my apologies, Mr. Omid Aval wanted us to uh, use a certain uh, Impala with this skin. This is based off of Gwinnett County, Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we got that car pack here, so pretty cool. Looks good. Also have a, uh, a Tahoe with it, so we might see that show up as a response. Let's go ahead and throw ourselves back on for calls. So we may see the Tahoe out here as well, so I'll probably use this for at least a couple episodes and then uh, switch it up to something else. If there's any requests out there, let me know in the comments. We'll be happy to do it. So Let's get back out on the road, see if we can find somebody uh, doing something illegally traffic-wise, like that guy almost swerving into us. Uh, not that big of a deal, however, at the same time, uh, let's go ahead and get our lights on so we can safely flip around here. I want to make sure that guy's not under the influence of some sort. Yep, he took a left over here. Watch out, watch out. We're coming, we're coming. So, uh, and do we have prostitution here? I think we do, um, but right now... This guy may be drunk, and that's more of a danger. I, I don't like the prostitution at all, but, I mean, there's just not a whole lot we can do about it. Let's just get this person marked for pullover and see what's going on. Man, it'd be nice to uh, have multiple people out here so we could address both of those situations. But for now, it's what we saw first, and more importantly, um, as much as, again, we don't like that going on back there, the potential solicitation... Uh, we do have somebody that may be drunk. I don't know that they are, but, you know, we just need to make sure. Let's go ahead and do a plate check. So, uh, dispatch, I have an Emperor 2 with 81 X ray whiskey. Victor 741, what you got for me? John Holland. Expired registration. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have him mimic me. Let's just move him a little bit up off the side of the road here. You're not going to do it? Nope, he's not going to do it. Okay, that's fine. So, we'll just let it stay. So we got a Mr. Uh, John Holland with a potential expired registration. Let's go see what that's all about. Got two times in the car. Hello, sir. Deputy Street with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I'm pulling you over because you kind of swerved in my lane when you were taking a, a left there off Joshua to get here into Sandy. Not a big deal. I just want to make sure everything is okay. Um, but I also ran it so you have expired registration. Uh, can I go and get all your documentation showing me that either... You do have it proper, or if it is a problem. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, Mr. Fat, I will be right back with you. Okay. So, we're looking here. The uh, registration did expire in January of this year. Everything else is good. His own driver's license is only good for a couple more weeks here. Not even that long, is it? Uh, either way, we got the hit of narcotics, so our instincts proved us well. Let's go and get that tablet out real quick and just check him in the system. He is not the registered owner. The uh, registered owner is Mr. John Holland. Uh, I don't know if that's him in the passenger seat. I don't think it is. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at Mr. Uh, Josh Fat here. Uh, failure to present registration. Well, <laughs> okay, so that's a pattern. Now, this isn't even his car, so uh, he'd still get the ticket because he's driving. But, again, we got bigger fish to fry, don't we? So let's go ahead and uh, get this individual out of the vehicle. Uh, while we're doing that, we're going to go and call us a backup. Yeah, yell it for the world to hear. We all love that. <laughs> all right, sir. Um... All right, yep, your registration is expired. I know it's not your vehicle. Uh, you would still be getting a ticket for that, but I smell narcotics. So, uh, man, have you uh, have you been doing any drugs lately? Just be straight up with me. Do I look like a drug addict? Well, I never said that, but okay. When do you, Have you been drinking? They're your favorite. Okay, okay. Well, man, just uh, do me a favor and step out the uh, vehicle because uh, we need to uh, have a little chat about this. Thank you, sir. If you would, um, I'm just going to have you follow me. No need to grab you. Just follow me right over here, please, sir. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right. That'll work right there, man. I appreciate it. Wait for our backup here. Keep the other guy in the car. Uh, that may be the owner. I'm not sure. All right, sir. Uh, we've got a potential uh, narcotics on us. So, go, go. No, no. You don't need to do anything like that. Okay, so I'm just going to have you look at the tip of my pen here as I move from left to right. If you would follow it with your eyes only, do not move your head, please. Do not move the head. Let's go and get a straight-on look here. Uh, you're kind of moving your head. 
you yeah yeah you're moving your head big time man i don't think you did so hot on that one um i'm gonna have you also uh, do a walk and turn for me and he did fail that of course didn't he so uh sir just the direction i'm facing if you could walk directly almost towards that officer about seven eight nine ten steps something like that and then turn around and come back for me oh yeah that's healthy okay so we're gonna go ahead and just run the uh, narcotics test on him uh, as soon as he gets back to us uh we're actually uh, yeah we'll we'll go ahead and place him in cuffs just in case sometimes they freak out when you do that all right man if you would go ahead and uh, turn around place your hands behind your back uh we are going to be detaining you right now you aren't necessarily at rest that's going to really ultimately depend on what this final test is but i can tell you right now uh, at the very least you're not driving out of here because you're you're not you're impaired of some sort all right so go ahead and uh, turn back around we are going to go ahead and do a drug swab test on you and then run that real quick just to make sure that you don't have any drugs in your system i know you uh pretty much denied it you did say you like alcohol but I actually didn't get any hits of alcohol on him Let's see what we got here unable to provide a valid breath sample okay well let's go ahead and do breathalyzer then sir so if this comes back no good essentially what we're going to do is uh get the passenger out make sure he's good it may be him but then again this guy just failed everything okay he can't do that either okay all right, sir, uh, I'm just going to move you over here, kind of in between our two vehicles, just kind of up here against this uh, fence. Right here will work. All right, cool, man. If uh, if you could, go ahead and just uh, get down on your knees. That way you're more comfortable. We'll be back in a minute. So we just need to check this guy and see if he's impaired. If he is, then I, I don't really care. He just won't be driving, and we're going to get a tow out of here. So we're going to go and run through those motions. We'll be back with you here in a second. Hold here. All right, sir, I appreciate you for stepping out for me. Yep, you are the owner of the vehicle. Uh, if you would, just uh, follow me right over here, please, sir. Yeah, you got a pride belt. Cool. Look at you, man. All right. Um, I need you to go ahead and uh, not really get any hits of anything. Uh, you know what? Let me just ask you. Ha have you done any drugs recently, man? Okay. Okay. Why would I use drugs? I don't want to die. Well, that's a good point. How about any alcohol? Never had a drink in my life, I swear. Okay. Basically, what this is all about, sir, is your buddy back there is impaired. Uh, we're not getting a valid sample off of him, so I'm not going to run him through a ringer of trying to get him a DWI, but at the very least, he's not driving out of here. I know this is your vehicle, too, so I know you probably wouldn't want this getting out of here. So uh, if you would, just go ahead and uh, submit, uh, if, if you don't mind. I'm going to have you uh, do a drug swab test and a breathalyzer. If everything comes back good, then uh, we're going to just let you get on out of here with your buddy. But we got to make sure you're good to drive. Depending on how all this comes back, I mean, we could get public in talks potentially, but I'm not worried about it. Let's just see what we get here. So negative on all that. Okay, that's cool. We're going to go ahead and do uh, the breathalyzer too, sir, just to make sure you haven't had any alcohol. And if you're good, then uh, we're going to go ahead and get you on out of here. Thanks. See what you got. Okay, so you're good on alcohol too. All right, cool. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and get this other guy out of cuffs. I mean, theoretically, I guess we could search the vehicle, um, but... Yeah, you know what? We are going to do that. All right, sir. Uh, if you would, just go ahead and turn around place your hands behind your back. Uh, you're just being detained. You're not under arrest right now. We smelled the narcotics. That's my concern. So that guy failed back there, but he can't give us a valid sample. So uh, we do have a reason to go ahead and search that vehicle. If it comes back clean, we're just going to get you out of here. Okay, man? All right, let's go ahead and search this real quick. And if it does come back clean, uh, I'll probably search the guy back there. I won't worry about trying to hassle the passenger. Briefcase full of meth. Well, we got a whole new problem on our hands now, don't we? Uh, man, I'd ask you to explain it, but you're just going to give me crap, so I'm not going to listen to you. Sir, if you would go ahead and pat him down. This is his vehicle, and there is a crap ton of meth in there. <laughs> we can't have that going on. All right, man, I need you to uh, go ahead and stand up for me. We're going to go ahead and search. We found the meth. That's all there is to it, and I just advise you to stay silent. Uh, we got some blotter papers back there, so we may have some LSD. We're going to go ahead and pat you down, see if you got anything illegal on you. Okay, so we got some massive drug charges about to go down on both these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this process up, and we'll bring you back here in a second. Oh. What's out there, homie? Wow, uh, you need to clean your Tahoe. You're just going to leave that blaring the whole time, huh? Appreciate that. Well, I was going to give you a look at the Tahoe, but I can't even hear myself think right now. We got a tow truck en route. There, watch out, man. Anyway, there's the Tahoe. Now it shuts up. So, yeah, there you go. A little dirty, but, yeah, it looks good. Anyway, <laughs> so the guy with the blotter paper, that ended up being fentanyl. Uh, the other guy, the pills, that ended up being the LSD, actually. So they both got some drug charges, and uh, we'll get back out there and see what else we can find. Citizens report. Units respond code 2. Copy that. Moving right okay, down. we've got a potential burglary going on. So let's go ahead and head over to that immediately. It's uh, right up the road here. Watch out, traffic. 
There you go. Okay. We've had uh, numerous calls at this location in the past. Never for burglary, though. So uh, let's go ahead and head on up here. I want to go and get some backup coming, too. Since we got potential burglary in action. We don't need to be alone. I'm going to go ahead and kill. You know what? We're going to kill everything. That way uh, we can maybe get the surprise element. Is that them right there? I don't see a weapon, I don't think. We're going to go ahead and uh, get out. Let's just uh, wait on our backup here. We're going to get a taser at the ready. Wait for them to get in here. Whoa, okay, they're here. <laughs> I didn't even try to quick spot them. Man, we're getting reports of potential burglary. If you would, just help me check these people out. Let's see what's going on here. Got a couple people on the porch. I don't know if that's them or not. Hey. No, you aren't. Don't. Don't. Okay. Oh, God. Jesus, man. That wasn't necessary. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, he's still running. He's still running. But come on. Dude, I know you just got shot. That wasn't me. Just hold tight. Hold tight. Okay, she's already gone. My God. Man, what are you doing, you fool? I'm No, you don't come near him. I got this. Good God. Just comes in here, and I guess he's going to do it. Nothing we can do. Okay, I don't think she was involved. She's running off. I'm not even going to try to chase her down. She's just whatever. Okay, man, we need to get medical out here. Uh, yeah, I know you got him, you jackass. You also shot the suspect. Good God, man. He was running away from us. That's how you get fired, sir. I hope you do anyway. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, sir, pat him down. We're not even going to do a whole lot of questioning. We know there's a burglary in progress. He uh, he was threatening the female. It's not armed, so just burglary at this point. But let's see what he's got on him. Matches, clear liquid, clear crystals. My God. Okay, man, you're just a drug smorgasbord, aren't you? Just hang tight here with him. I'm going to go ahead and do some drug reagency tests. And, uh, we'll bring you back in here in a minute when we've got him on the way out of here. Required in Sandy Shores. All right, man. Appreciate you getting him out of here. So, uh, yeah, he ended up having a PCP, and it was LSD, if I remember correctly, on him. So uh, he's going to get those drug possession charges as well as the charge for burglary. He didn't have a weapon on him, and we didn't see him using one either. So at least he's not going to go down for an armed robbery, ar robbery, <laughs> armed robbery, or anything like that. So uh, I don't know. He's got a drug habit. He has some on him, but I guess he had to uh, fuel it with some more cash and trying to go after her. So we'll get back out there and see what else we get. Officers report all units respond. Code Money truck American. is robbed. Okay, that's a big deal. Okay, we see them. Um, we really shouldn't be trying to cut over, but we know which direction he's going. So we, it sounds like we've already got air on him. That's good. Um, he doesn't really have a whole lot of options to go anywhere here, so we're going to try to get out some spike strips real quick. See if we can't... Nope, 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 nope. Don't move. Oh, don't run out on the road either. <laughs> okay. Well, that was unsuccessful. I was hoping he would uh, we'd get there in time. Unfortunately, we did not. Let's check behind us. Get that siren back on. Go see if we can't chase this down. I was literally just stopping there about to uh, run up some radar and ended up having this happen. Now, we can't pit this vehicle. Not at least while it has tires. So, we're about to ask for spike strip. Let's just go ahead and do it. See if they can get him out deployed in time. All right, they're in a good spot. All right, spikes are deployed. They are deployed. They are retracted. All right, it was successful. They are ice skating all around, aren't they? This is about the only time we can maybe pit. Okay, they may be heavily armed. Oh, God, I left my siren on. Whatever, it doesn't matter. They don't have any weapons right now. I think the guy's in the truck. He's giving up. Let's go get these guys. Oh, man, we got them just running all over the place. Oh, I hate when this happens. We need more backup, but I can't get to that menu right now because I'm trying to focus on these guys. Uh, no, you don't. Sir, stop. I am going to tase you. I'm just giving you fair warning. You're getting tased. All right. Oh, nope. Missed. Oh, my goodness. That was not a good shot by me. Let's keep going. Keep going. Push, push, push. We're about to try us another taser. All right. One taser deployed. Hopefully, y'all can stick with him, guys. I'm going after this guy. Yep, he did. Thankfully, he did. And again, I believe the driver was giving up. I hope there's an officer back there. But we got to go for the idiot here running out towards the Sonora Freeway. Man, stop. You're getting tased. You're getting tased. Just need a little bit closer on him. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. Taser deployed. Successful. Three total tasers deployed. Two successful. Man, go down to your knees. What is this all about? I mean, at least you, you got your mask on. I'll give you that. But, oh my god. Oh. Welcome, man. No need for all that. Let's go ahead and get this guy arrested. And uh, we're going to hike back to our car where I know I need to shut up a siren. And we'll see what this is all about. See you in a second. 
All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you hear that, by the way. Uh, so, a quick after action report on the vehicle. Uh, looks like our hood is uh, jammed up a little bit. I don't think we hit anything. Uh, let me know in the comments if I did. I'll, I'll find out in editing. But uh, yeah, certainly, uh, I guess we had a little contact with something. Other than that, it's sandy. Should just be some dirt. So far, everything looks pretty clean. Really shouldn't be anything on it. And yeah, we look pretty good. So, just pop that hood back down. I think we'll be all right. Would you shut up over there? My God, woman. Okay, let's go and pull out the charges here. Uh, so, our court cases. We had uh, quite a few here. We had Mr. Josh Fat. He got the possession of LSD and meth. He's going to end up with uh, $9,000 in uh, fines and five years in prison. Tell me about it. Uh, well, I just did. <laughs> John Holland, uh, possession of fentanyl as well as meth. Uh, he's going to get 10 years in prison and 10000 in fines. Uh, he also, that was the owner of the vehicle, so we went ahead and, get, get, went ahead and gave him the vehicle registration ticket just a 240 dollars fine the grand scheme of things and the most minor thing he's getting right we have mr andy rickson who we caught in the act of trying to burglarize a woman he also had lsd and pcp he's going to get seven years in prison as well as seventeen thousand in fines mr luca corleone grand theft he also had fentanyl on him He's going to get 13000 in fines and 14 years in prison. We also got him for an evading arrest, which is going to tack on almost $900 more as well as a license suspension and granted probation. Okay. Uh, Mr. Leroy Jenkins, he got evading arrest, grand theft, and he had heroin on him. So he's going to get five years in prison as well as $11,605 in fines. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, notify, and y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.